What up, guys? Welcome to another uh, episode of Sneakerhead Two One Three. Um, today's unboxing is very, um, I want to say, kind of similar to the last unboxing. But um, yeah, so this box just arrived today, this morning. Um, it arrived kind of late, to be honest. I hate when I get um, boxes um, late because I have plans for the review and it just doesn't go as planned, and so I just kind of have to, you know, pretty much work around it. But um, yeah, let's get started. Um, so yeah, it comes with your traditional, you know, sealing tape. I hate this kind of tape to be honest, guys. If you guys have this tape, just don't use it because, based on my experience of working in warehouses, this tape gets really old really fast, and it starts to kind of like break, and you just don't want it to break and then have issues with bent boxes when you're shipping out or anything um, but yeah here's the box here's the receipt a lot of you people always ask me um, why I sell things cheap and just to eliminate some doubt it's just there's the receipt guys I don't want to show my address there's there's that the vans.com order receipt and here's a return shipping label in case I want to return them, but that won't happen because these sell like hotcakes. But um, if you guys are ever interested in buying some of my shoes and just have any benefit of a doubt, um, rather than my shoes are legit, just I can give you, you know, the online receipts as long as I blur my addresses out and my order numbers out so you won't be able to get into my account with that website. But I mean, everything's legit with me, so if you guys have any benefit of a doubt, um, just get to me and if you don't buy my shoes, it doesn't bother me. I mean, I just like doing the shoe reviews overall, but I like to show people their sh the shoes that they could potentially own before they own it, you know. I always, I'm, I'm, I'm just like you guys. I like to check out the shoe either online or in video preferably before I order it. But uh, this is the Vans off the wall. Boxing, Vans there, there there as well and down there they have all that with the sizing and stuff and then well bam we are doing today a review on the vans classic slip on uh checkerboard colorway black and white um these are also known as the van slip on og um because these are you know pretty long and sought after these are like the iconic version of the slip on vans and here you guys are. Here's the first shoe, the left shoe. Pretty cool shoe. Uh, one thing I noticed right off the bat is the color on the upper. Um, but yeah, there's that. And then here's this. Have you guys, a lot of you guys have been hitting me up on rather, I'm into doing collaborations and yeah, I'm very open to it. Um, as a matter of fact, I'm kind of working to collaborate with another YouTuber. He just hasn't gotten back to me on my messages. Um, so yeah, if you're ever interested in collabing, yes, I'm open to it. Um, I like supporting other sneaker channels, so just let me know. We can work out good ideas and make it work ultimately. But, um, yeah, she's going to show you some B-roll of these OG slip on vans and um, one of the things that caught my eye when I <coughs> when I first unboxed it was the color on the upper which the camera I noticed isn't really capturing it much but I think it'll capture it as I you know show the shoe in great detail actually it is capturing it a little bit but um, these shoes I ordered for myself so all you guys that asking me do you ever keep any of the shoes of these I'm really, really considering keeping. Um, I initially ordered them because I wanted them for myself, and they are at an affordable price. I purchased them for fifty dollars retail, free shipping from Bands. And if you wanted these, I think they sold out. I believe these sell out pretty quick. I think they sold out on Bands.com, but I might be wrong. They restock quite often. Um, so, like I said, these are the Vans um, slip-on checkerboard, black checkerboard colorway. Um, one of the first things that you notice is this upper. The upper is 
from the toe box all the way to the tongue is just checkerboard patterning. Um, however, this compared to the Vance Authentic, this type of white is more of a cream white. It's more of a yellowish, creamish color, which I kind of like to be honest because at night that pops and like during the evening hours that's going to look a lot cooler. And I like how it shows the contrast between the white on the upper and the white on the midsole, which is pretty cool. I like that. Um, so yeah, that's one of the things that catches your eye. Also, the outer lining of the tongue and the toe box, like right here, it's all black. I really like how it's more emphasized on that outline in black. That's really cool. I like it. I would like it black better than white. So that's cool. And then you have this elastic um, banding there so you can just slip it on. Don't have to tie your shoe. Another reason I bought the shoe. Um, so yeah. On Back here around the, the um, ankle area you have this sort of very light denim type material in a creamish color. Very cool shoe. And then also on this side and you have the Vans branding in black there. That's pretty cool. And then you have this checkerboard back here on the back of the shoe. Checkerboard patterning there. And then on the inside, surprisingly, on the lining of the shoe, around the ankle area, it's actually leather. This, guys, is actually leather right here. Which took me by surprise. I don't think the other ones had it. Um, the other men's. If you are interested in the other ones, I sold them, so <laughs> too late. And then right here you have just the regular Vans branding and the regular brand, uh, Vans cushioning. Um, if you do order some Vans, don't expect like, oh, they're going to be as comfortable as boots. No, these shoes um, have pretty standard um, cushioning. It's not anything, you know, out of this planet. They're like the old school skater shoes. <laughs> yeah, pretty much like skater cushioning. Um, also, the midsole is composed of this black outer line here, which I really like that Vans, most Vans have it. Um, and then also that triple white and then this patterning as you get to the toe box like this rough outlaying thing here I'm not sure what you call it but anyways um, the Vans off the wall branding there I, I like this branding it kind of reminds me of Levi jeans which is why these look so good with Levi jeans and then flip it over to the outsole you have that waffle like gum bottom um, I mean that's as easy as I can describe it um, and I like these gum bottoms on these shoes I don't think I would buy these shoes if it didn't have this to be honest it just looked really weird to me and that's pretty much it guys these are in a nine and a half like I said I'll think about selling them if you really want them I'll give you a good price for them because I didn't pay a lot like I mentioned um, so there's that one and then here's the other one with the off the wall bar uh, branding there tag there Where's the inside of it? If you want to see the inside, the inside. And yeah, that's pretty much it, man. They're very, very nice shoes. You can't go wrong with these guys. I mean, if I did an on feet, you guys would fall in love with these shoes. Just look at pictures online. Only reason I don't do on feet is because I'm not good at uploading music with my videos. Um, I just don't want any copyright issues. Um, and that's pretty much it, guys. Let me know what you guys think on these Vans, uh, classic slip-on, checkerboard colorway. Is this a must cop for you? Are you thinking about copying these? Um, were you waiting to see a review on these? Because if so, well, here's the review. Um, comment, sub, like down below. Um, share the video. Um, if you're new to this channel, I try to do um, reviews, you know, as, you know, as, as soon as I can. I get the shoes pretty much, as you saw. And uh, that's pretty much it, guys. Hopefully you guys like this video. Please um, stay tuned for new content. I will be dropping another video for sure sometime this week. And uh, that's pretty much it. See you guys on the next one. Peace.